Oh. M. Mom! Hello, Mom Plus subscribers. Are you listening? Can you hear us? We hear you, and we know you're listening, and we also see you. That's right. We love to see you here, right here behind the paywall. Mm -hmm. And we have a very special, exciting piece of bonus content for you mm -hmm. today. Yeah, since March, we've been working on giving you fantastic programming in general. It's top um, notch. Yeah, for your ears and eyes. For me, top notch. This is Mom Plus. Today is no exception. You're getting tops, notches. Um, top knot. How many notches are on your bed post, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was termites. <laughs> Something to throw it. Um, we're doing, you know, big things. We did Padge Podge. We Large did the assistant things. files. We did. Um, uh -huh. We had like a drag con thing where everybody mm -hmm. was like, oh my God, drag con, look at you guys. Mm -hmm. And we did the Pride Roundtable chat, the drag evolution. We did. Mm -hmm. And today, we want to offer you, bam, just when you thought it was safe to go outside. The sequel. The sequel. This is the second installment of... The, the Good Hot Pussy Power, Power Hour! <laughs> 100 Tongue Pop Salute. Yeah. This is our deep dive interview podcast, as you know, where mm -hmm. we uh, really go there with yeah. our special guests. So it's sort of like a tip spot, but like longer. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and um, we are so thrilled today to have, what's your name again? <laughs> Hold on. Um, she, is, so. she is a YouTuber, an influencer, a model, an author, a podcastress. A I'm, muse. Honey, everything. Talk about a multi-hyphenate. She's yeah. all the punctuation. She's gorgeous and amazing. She's Gigi Gorgeous. Gigi Gorgeous. Oh. Hey, everyone. Hey, bonus listeners and watchers. Blues. Thanks for having me, guys. No worries. Blues. You guys are nuts. That intro is everything. Wow. Thank we usually like to introduce a girl and like say fake stuff about her. Like, you know, she doesn't turn in her music and she uses spray tan in the dressing room. Oh, and there are the girl's right. feathers. It's still me, minus the music. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> She used fake blood on stage and didn't clean it up. I had to dot points. <laughs> uh, that's understandable. I had to. Uh, I, it's very okay. It's we are in Forever Dog Studios right now, and it's very very warm. It's summertime. Yeah, it's like a hundred outside. Do you like the summer? Are you vibing with the summer? When there's AC inside. Like, I'm the kind of girl, I grew up in Canada, so I'm like very, very sensitive to the heat because it's yeah. always freezing cold there. Yeah. Oh, yes, a little Don't mind shiver. me. Don't mind me. I'm just oh, gigging. So the shiver. Just gigging about. Kiss. Oh, it looks nice. Give you me. It gives you a little color. Ooh. Like a little extra tan. Ooh. Mm. She bronzed up. Mm -hmm. Just the high points. <laughs> yeah. Just Have where you... the sun kisses. So what is this? Tell Have me Have you what ever this seen is. the sun kiss the gold corn shoulders? I have now. <laughs> the gold the corn knees. shoulders. Uh, them gold shoulders should match them gold, gold knees, hit. but they don't. So, <laughs> what is this? Is this your cosmetic line? It is. So, it's Gigi, Cor Gigi Gorgeous Cosmetics LLC, but I did it with Ipsy. So, this is like oh, discontinued for like two years now. Oh, okay. I was I gagged when she pulled this out it. back there. I was like, you still have that? Yeah. So this is off the market. You can't even get it. It's giving eBay. If even you want if you it. go by like Santee and Olympic what it is. and Twelfth, you can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> the fake knockoff. You me. might. Who knows? Who knows? It's but flammable. yeah, you having this made my day. Really? Yeah. Uh, you coming made my day. Thank you so much for coming out. We know you're very busy with the summer. Anything Did you, for you have like pride gigs? Where have you been? This time last year we were in Rome. Uh huh. Just having like a My oh Princess my Diaries God. adventure day. We're low key like Princess traveling Diaries. buddies. Yeah. Right? We're definitely Mexico, Rome. Not. Sisterhood of Traveling Braids and Pants. We'll share hairdos and very. Mm -hmm. I'll share your wigs, outfits. <laughs> you share them with me. Yeah, but I and also, outfit. I also felt like I was like a good uh, a good girl to bring to a pool party because I could braid. Oh yes, oh, and like yes. you know, swimming with hair is sometimes hard. So I was like, let me get this girl together. Uh huh. Yeah. In Mexico, every morning I was like, I have these like permanent extensions. I don't want to get them wet. She was like, what braid look are we doing today? We had four bobby pins in the whole house, and then like three rubber bands. And then she had lost a rubber band, and I was like, I can't be mad at her. She's Gigi. <laughs> and then I found a rubber band, and we got her braids. In. One of the four rubber bands went missing. Well, yes, I, I think I forgot like something. at like an all inclusive house. Yeah. We just never asked for more. Yeah. We love a challenge. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was it was fun. I live. Yeah. Oh, and then Rome was great. 
Mm-hmm. Have you been gallivanting about summer yet? Uh, we just were in Croatia, my husband and I. Oh. Which is oh. like, have you guys ever been? It's kind of a moment. I went to Zagreb once. So did I. I've never been to Zagreb. She shot sh- Sharknado there. Oh, you no, were in Sharknado? That was Romania. Oh. Same thing. Bill that Bill Shakespeare Roma- over here. That was Romania. <laughs> okay. Z- where'd you go in Croatia? We went to Ravine, I think that's how you say it, and Dubrovnik, <gasps> where they filmed like uh, Game of Thrones. I never watched it, <gasps> but it was like, me- everyone was gagging, like Game of Thrones oh. everywhere. So that was cool. Havala, that means thank you in Croatian. Oh, you know how they say that. hi? Bok. Can we ask you like the questions that like interview people would ask? Yeah. Okay. Um, you've been in the public eye for a long time. Mm-hmm. And those at home need a refresher. There's a documentary called This Is Everything and it was everything. We yes. had like cute hats that said this is everything. I made mine into a headband. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, like the beanies? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and then, so watch that if you don't know who Gigi is, but you're probably under a rock. Um, but. Nah. You transition publicly and you share your life with the world through your vlogs and videos. I'm reading this, but like I know this about you. So, how has it been to been so open? Like you've been on YouTube the last like decade of your life, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, like, yeah. So when people come up to you and they know stuff about you and they say stuff, and you're like, "How do you know that?" And then you're like, "Oh shit, television, internet." Mm-hmm. Is that ever weird for you? No, I love it. Yeah. I think it's so fun. But also, like ten years ago when I started, maybe even more now, probably like 12, 13 years ago, it was just YouTube. So like that was the outlet. Right. And now it's like so many other things. Like there's like gigs in real life, or there's yeah. like acting roles, or like other like Club, in person. Club. Exactly. Yeah. So it's no like sleep. it's yeah, no sleep ever. Yeah. Not even when I'm working. Um, but yeah, it's just it, it I love it. I literally people are like, oh my God, this person is in your life, or oh my God, how is this situation? It's like, bitch, yes, we're instantly connected. It's like, let's just pick up where we left off, like Uh online. How do you guys feel about that? Well, I want to know, because you're very, like, it's all out there. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that's, like, off limits that you're, like, we're not going to, the cameras don't go here, like, I don't talk about this part of my anything? Mm -hmm. Probably, like, my family stuff. Mm, Yes. Like, when it comes to, like, my brothers, I have two brothers, one older, one younger, and my dad, his new wife, like all that, they didn't yeah. really sign up for all that. And right. in my movie, This Is Everything, my dad was like a huge part of it. Like it was like him being like, my daughter and I transitioned together. Like he was fully on camera saying all that stuff, which I was so gagged that he even said that. But that was like his cap. He's like, okay, that's like, you know. We're good. Yeah, yeah. we're okay, <laughs> we're, we're fine. We were at like Sundance and he was watching it crying. He was on stage answering questions. I was like, I never thought my dad would do this. So that was like the moment, the family moment. Yeah. Other than that, yeah. That's probably it. Honestly, everything else is pretty much out there. Because I'm sure there's like spillover because people are like, oh, I saw you. Like to your dad, like, oh, I saw you in the movie. Uh." Yes. Yeah. Like in the mall in Canada, people would come up to him and I'm like, dad, oh my God. Like never did he think in a million years that his kid would get him recognized, but he's a good sport. You'd so. be like, will you sign my Tilly's bag, Mr. Gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gorgeous. He just leaves the mall immediately. <laughs> so uncomfortable. Oh my God. I love him, though. He's such a good sport with it all. Um, How many times have you come out? <laughs> How many? Too many, bitch. How many? Too many. Gay, trans, gay again, and then pants of four. And then you came out against wigs and weaves and why you will not wear them. Uh-huh. No nails ever again as well. No spray tan, as you can see. Clickbait. (laughs) That's Chanel Perillo's favorite video. Why I'll never wear extensions again. Oh, my God. Shout out to all of our friends. Hey, Tiffanene. Hey, Chanel. Hey, Brick. Hey, Ari. Hey, August. Wait, did you say you were never gonna wear extensions? I again? did, yeah. How's but it was that, like how's a that work again? Oh, yeah. well, this is a wig, so I'm staying true to it today. Oh, okay, <laughs> but yeah, just felt it. You know, when you go to upload something, you're like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. I could get away with that little yeah. title. Um, okay, you enjoy sharing so much about your. We already did that. <laughs> mm. Come on, Barbara uh, Walters. Um, trans icon, not really. Do you think Barbara Walters oh, no. does this during interviews where she's like trying to get someone to cry? She's like, no. We are, mm, no. Hold on. Um, I would hope so. Do you feel uh, pressure because you are a trans icon? People look up to you. People, you, no. For a lot of young people, you were the blueprint. Do you feel pressure to live up to some, I don't know, some like some like imaginary standards or something? Sometimes, yeah, yeah, honestly. I feel like it's it's something that I never really asked for, right. but I was just living my life. So I yeah. always just try to keep it like fun and like 
what I really feel like doing and what I feel like saying. I try to not make it like so overly calculated, but also like keeping in the back of my mind that like that is what my past was and like what I still need to live true to be. But I feel like if I'm not having fun, it's like it just becomes like so overwhelming and so stressful. So I try not to like think about it too much. You're literally the most fun person in every room. I love being in a room (laughs) with you because I can just sit back. And it's just so fun. <laughs> yeah, you always say that I should do stand-up comedy. You're really, You're really so good at it. No, funny. and I feel like you two, like, it's just like, I could never. It's I, like so nerve-wracking to me. I mean, you're, you're kind of doing it now. You're just so charming and funny. Hinge is the dating app designed to be deleted. I like Hinge because it's one of those things where you have all these things to answer questions about, and I love talking about myself. Hinge prompts help you show off your full personality and connect with someone who appreciates you. Exactly. Specifically, Hinge's LGBTQIA prompts are designed to help queer daters better connect based on similarities, interests, and compatibility. Plus, these prompts were created in collaboration with GLAD, so they are by the people for the people. Willem, let's answer one of these prompts together. Okay, here's here's a good one. It says, I feel proudest of who I am when... I personally feel proudest of who I am when I'm, like, on stage and I'm doing a show and I'm like, this is, this is fucking great. The audience is there with me. I like that. I feel proudest of who I am when the flight attendant gives me a little nod and lets me know I can use the closet because he knows what's in the bag. Yes. Yes. LGBTQIA plus prompts are a great way to connect around niche yet relatable queer experiences by showcasing your nuances, humor, personality, and lived experiences. Download Hinge and show off your full self using their LGBTQIA plus prompts today. Then find someone worth deleting the app for. Warmer, sunnier days are calling. Fuel up for them with Factors No Prep, No Mess Meals. Ooh, I'm thinking something al fresco. Mm. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factors fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious, great tasting meals. Uh, have you tried the Factors? I've loved the Factors. Oh, it's girl. been the it factor for me actually for Absolutely. a while because there's so many different choices. Like you have 35 different things to choose from every week and they're all different and they it's like, I love the, I love the variety because with 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, you'll always have new flavors to explore in your mouth. Crush your wellness goals this May with dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. Keep kitchen time to a minimum. Factor meals are ready in two minutes. No shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. Head to factormeals.com slash drag50 and use code drag50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. Ooh, that's savings you can taste. That's drag code drag50 at factormeals.com slash drag50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. It's crazy that anybody would ever like not get along with you, but recently you reconnected with someone that apparently uh, was a former friend at one point, La Demi. Oh, I was like, who? Yeah, on your podcast, <laughs> Queerify. Oh, yes, yes, the yes. Cutting edge journalism girl. Hello, Barbara Walters. The Nobel is going to contact you. <laughs> Bring them out. Bring out the special guest, <laughs> yeah. the gotcha guest. No, we're just kidding. I would love it. We don't have any gotcha guests. Damn it. No. We haven't built the gotcha guest suite to like a I holding would, room yeah, for the gotcha guest. Yeah, I had already thought about it. <laughs> what are you, you going to say? The gotcha guest. Oh, you did. Don't you ever. Oh, you did. I already did. <laughs> gotcha. Before. Um, okay, so La Demi and you on Queerified. Yes. That was a great episode. Are you going to do more podcasting? I want to. So we did like 40 episodes with one network, mm-hmm. and I signed on for 40, and I was like, wow, that seems like a fuck ton of episodes. 40 whole episodes. Like, I know how much a YouTube video is to do. Yeah. So I was like, let me just do this. It'll probably take forever. Before I knew it, it was, the 40 episodes were up. You had great guests. Too. It was just weak, like you were on. Mm-hmm. Would have loved to have you on. Please come right. on if I sign Next another season. deal. Yes. Next season. Yeah. So after the forty, I was kind of just like, well, we'll see. Like you know, we'll we'll compare networks and all that. But it's something I love doing. It's so fun. Yeah, all your videos are pretty fun. I subscribe. Um, Ditto. Yeah. So your new skits on the internet. 
Oh, yes, with Demi. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. The the blonde wigs, too, the matching ones. Yes. Where'd you find them? Oh, my God. We just did. Oh, yeah. I was texting you about that. Yeah. yeah. She was looking for wigs. So she's like, I don't know, but I'm right around. I'm around the corner from the wig store. Let me walk through. Yeah. And, I uh, died. I was like, Willem, you're so nice. <laughs> Fully sent photos. Give like, me she'll an probably excuse get to go to a tomorrow. wig store. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That was the excuse. Uh-uh. You know the Clermont twins? Do you know them yeah. on Instagram? So they did like a little short bob moment uh-huh. and me and Demi were just looking and we were like, we should do that. Because her and I always get that we're like, we look alike because we're so beat in the face mm-hmm. and people are always like, oh my God, are you guys sisters? So we're like, let's make it twins and do like the yeah. really bob short. Bob. So we we kind of felt stupid doing it. It was kind of giving like dumb and dumber. No, it looked great. The photos looked great. In person, it was the little Pee Wee Herman, like okay. dumb. We looked uh, stupid, but we were like on the top of this rooftop in Beverly Hills, like drinking cocktails, looking so dumb with our hair uh, cut to here. We were like, what are we doing right now? No, they probably lived. I mean, we were living. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You and LaDemi are so fucking hilarious. She was in your video, right? Oh, yes. I'm obsessed with her. Uh, I'm obsessed with her. Same. She's like a no, you, give no fucks trans girl. And that's why I feel like we get along so well. Very that. Mm-hmm. You have such a, you have such a, 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 a hilarious point of view. You're fucking naturally both so fucking funny. It's not even, it's not even funny. Gigi, let's go to Bootsy. <laughs> <laughs> that video? Uh, uh, I can't. Um, You're a really good actor. Oh my God, thanks. What? You are, listen, no, you're really, really good at acting. Are you doing, are you, are there any like Oscar, like you're gonna like really deep dive Waiting for the right like, role. You know what I would love to do? Like an American Horror Story. Yeah. Like campy Emma Roberts vibe. Would you do like uh, Charlize Theron and like Monster where they make you like really ugly and like fucked up teeth? And... Been there, done that. There's a video called <laughs> Eileen where I- As he laughed in the Eileen back. Warnos. Wait, did, were you in that video? Yes, I've Trixie. never seen any of Willem's work. He was work. in it too. He played Christina Ricci. <laughs> oh yeah. In like a Wednesday Adams wig. It was a crazy video. Trixie was there out of drag. She apologized to me. She's like, sorry for not doing that in drag. I should have been in drag. I was like, girl, I don't care. Wasn't that the whole vibe, though, to be like cowboy? Yeah, I was fine with it. I was just glad to have her there. But that song was great. And you looked horrible in it. It was fucked. It was the it was only like... time I looked good in a photo with Gigi. <laughs> like, really sick. <laughs> it was fucked. It was like that latex shit you put over and then make the most hideous face you can. And then all the wrinkles stay from yeah. where you put it. It was Oof. nuts. And it's then... nice to be hideous, though. The... You know, there's no it's pressure. It's so fun. It's like, whatever. It's my make favorite. me uglier. The yeah. wig was like Kiefer Sutherland, but like drier. It was fucked. It was and and with like dust in it, and like the color was hideous. Oh my god! Dust in the wig. <laughs> um, <laughs> I remember that shoot. I gave your husband the cutest T-shirt. I forget what it was, but it's like something threadbare. You've been married for like three years, and your wedding is the best oh, wedding I've ever been to. Oh my god! Thank so you. So you won that award. Uh, yes, we did it. <laughs> How's it like to be a wife like three years now? Three years. It's Crazy. fucking insane. Sometimes it feels like, you know those like days where you think about something and you're like, oh my God, that could have been yesterday. Like all the memories. Totally. And then it's like, you can't imagine not having that day. It's yeah. literally like being married. Like I'm like, that was three years ago, but at the same time it was yesterday. Like I remember everything about it, except like after 3 a.m. when I was blackout. <laughs> Girl. Oh, that's what you should do on your wedding. Yeah. You paid Absolutely. for it. Absolutely. Yeah, hello. Come it's my on. day. It was the best wedding I've ever been to. I've heard. Uh, uh, I they sat me next to Terry fucking Hatcher. Oh, they're really? They're like, oh, they'll have was fun. Was that Shay? Is that no, a read? It was great. <laughs> Dr. Monica Del Monaco? It was the icon. Oh, table. I thought you had a falling out with. Wait, no, that's Jacqueline Smith. You had a falling out. I had a falling out with Jacqueline Smith. She played my attorney on the district. Okay. okay. The television show in 2002. Okay. And they told me, don't speak to. Um, Ms. Don't speak Smith. to Smith Smith. And Wait, I was why? Like, What'd what? you do? I don't know, but they told me not to from the get go. So I was like, she don't like me, or is she? She doesn't want to talk on set. I was like, I don't get it. Like homophobic or something? I don't know. I was in drag, but I was playing her client. What an she accusation. Was, Maybe yeah. it was for the character. Like, she didn't want to breach the, like, <laughs> breach Jacqueline the client will be my character. Right. Jacqueline is your fucking LaToya. Because LaToya Jackson, she and I have a, pub- a public beef. I, not that I know of. Public yeah. beef. It's almost a beef jerky. <laughs> oh, it's, she's a jerky <laughs> to me. <laughs> to me personally? No, she was horrible. She said I look like a sad bridesmaid on Drag Race. Lisa Renner kicked her out of a dressing room once. Ago. What? I love Lisa Renner. I love Lisa Renner too. She was. She's a lot. Why did to she kick, kick you out. out? You're prettier. 
No, well, yeah. She was mad there was hay in the room. No, I had more pump in my top lip at the time. Right. So it was really a rivalry. No, I was at this gig and like her team came in and like I was doing drag and her team came in and was like, we need this room for Lisa. And you were like, She wasn't what? doing anything, but she had a team. I was doing drag. I needed the room. <laughs> That's so shady. It's fine. We'll we'll confront each other at um, an award show of sorts at Sutton's uh, next luncheon. <laughs> yeah, I think you should be on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Speaking of, I hear Ooh. that every fucking day of my life. Like, is that on the radar? You... I would love it. I just feel like I'm not old enough. So I just turned thirty, and I don't know if there's ever been like a thirty uh, year old. You yeah. everyone it up. has kids, and I mean, I would love to be the first. Uh, also trans. Housewife. Yeah. I feel like the visibility from that would just be like amazing. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I Crystal's feel like... like 36, so Oh, is she? Yeah. I love so Crystal. they're get they're getting a little more range okay. age wise. I wonder what the youngest girl on the show was. 34? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I Look mean, at our calculator over there. Everyone has <laughs> okay. kids and everyone, you know, like their kids are like 20. It's like but your we, life is fascinating. I would love to be on the show. I would love it. And also, Beverly Hills, they're not really that, because I hate confrontation. Mm -hmm. Like, I hate it. Yeah. So I feel like they're not as savage. Like, the other franchises, like New York, Atlanta, they're fucking buck wild. Yeah. Whereas Beverly Hills is, like, a little bit more, like, classy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's all about the looks. Oh, my God. Which I would have so much fun. Oh, the uh, looks. I'd be borrowing shit from you oh every day. Oh, my hair God. systems alone. Uh-huh. <sighs> the ponytails. Oh. Oh. The interview chair looks. Oh. <laughs> You have to do it. Uh, start yeah. a petition. I would start watching this show if you got on it because I don't watch it now. Okay, but like, okay. I'm sure a lot of other people would too. Like the community, like everybody would watch. Has there it. even been a gay housewife on Beverly Hills? Is I don't there? think so. A lesbian I don't couple. Think so. I think there's on on Miami. There was one. Yeah. Yeah. A progressive one. Not a trans on oh. trans couple though. Like hello. I know. So fun. Oh my God. Oh. Um, how do you feel about that, Lo? filming putting that part of your life out there is your husband as open about his life he or that, is i mean he's that, sitting right here drinking a beer but who miller light or wait is it coors light oh coors oh, oh. it'll do tap the rockies is that coors light <laughs> get into the brew tap the rockies coors light <laughs> that is coors light tap the rockies what yeah. Mm. I love Your that. theme is cold and rocky. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, is there any negative feedback about people critiquing your relationship online or people in the comments ever? How do you deal with haters in the comments and things like that? I think when we first started dating, it was really bad. Right? Yeah. Because now it's like not really that bad. It was Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> it was somebody, girl. Somebody, all the facts. I'm like, how did they know? What? <laughs> what? It's coming from inside the yeah, house. An inside source. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was fucked. People were like, oh, you're not together for the right reasons or just like basic shit. But it kind of wore off. I mean, it's been like six years now. So yeah. people are either in or they're out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Are you going to have babies? Do you, are you, Fuck yes. Okay, work. I mean, you're so young. Yeah, 30. I mean, you I turned have... a, new, a new corner. 30. Yeah. You're in your 30s, bitch. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm starting to get hangovers now. Uh, I get a little bit more tired now. It really is. It really affects you. Ugh. I don't know if it's the mentalness of being 30, but I'm like, I am not in my 20s anymore. Have you tried pomegranate? Mm -mm. It's that pink juice. I, I'm aware. Okay. Thank can't, you, Willem. <laughs> can't we just get wasted with impunity and never have any consequence from it? It's a lot. Please. I can't imagine being like What about 50. the IV drips? Ooh, y'all need detox. I feel like that, that like bloats you. Fluorescence. Oh, it does. I feel like, right? I've All that water it. in your veins. I We I did know. bags together once. Oh, we did in Mexico. Yeah. Not this motion. No. <laughs> <laughs> we did bag. Oh, she no, just not did like a that. bag. Oh, oh you got yeah. good veins. Same day health, honey. Same day not so health. Same day. <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> no. I, excuse me, getting tested regularly is good, like, habits and good, like, um, manners. Mm -hmm. I just took a driver's test yesterday. <laughs> How'd you do? Again. How'd you I, do on the parallel park? <laughs> it was the written one. Did you just press the button for the Tesla and have it do it? <laughs> <laughs> that girl who shuts her trunk with her leg. 
Oh, that video, video. <laughs> by her baby carriage moment, Bitch, did you see? yeah. F- Folded out. That's you. Sickening. Yes. With the, what are those, like 180s she has those on in that high. video? So good. That video was crazy. I want to talk beauty. I'm Let's right here. <laughs> the beauty is here and she is feeling the fantasy. Uh, are there any products uh, that you are currently obsessed with that you can't live without? Because I want to know. Mm. Oh, you're like no. Yeah, no. I don't. I, I really just, like makeup. All natural. We kind of have a story about that. Courtney Act watched a beauty video that you did once, and she was like, she bought everything that you used in the video, and then she said that later she talked to you, I guess, and you were like, no, that was all just stuff sent to me. I don't use any of that. <laughs> and Courtney was like, fuck. But Courtney the wanted, tea. yeah. Courtney was like, "Oh, I'll be Gigi." Well, Courtney had her makeup done from <laughs> my best friend Hillary, who's here as well, who's a makeup Hillary artist. Hillary Montez Cosmetics. Hey. Oh, and she bought everything that Hillary used on her that day. And oh. she, I've heard her reference it so many times. She's like, "I've never felt as beautiful as I have when Hillary's done my makeup." I'm just like oh, scrolling yeah. Instagram, and I hear her say that. I'm like, Hillary. You really made an impact on Courtney. It's it's a feeling. I don't know. What do I love right now? Um, Jaclyn Hill, her bronzer is really good. You, do you guys know Jaclyn Hill? Jaclyn Smith? Formerly <laughs> <laughs> no, known as Smith. <laughs> Wait, is Jaclyn Hill the one that got in the James Charles thing? Uh, Probably. Okay, no, I don't know her, but I know she got brown hair. Her makeup is gorgeous. Okay. Gorgeous. Like, it's so smooth and buttery. Just everything, like, lays really nice. Um. Suck less. Oh, yeah. Avi. Ding! Suck less face and body. Honey, Other than that, her. I suck. I really don't know, honestly. I'll just use anything. Okay. My okay. makeup station's fucked. It's just like, what <laughs> primer do I everything. use? This one today. Like, I'm not like, I need to use this. Okay. I'll just be like, what's next? Blush. Throw it on. Do you wear yeah. a sunscreen? Yes. Ooh, that's a good one. Elta MD. They make a really good tinted one. I wear it like when I like work out or I'm being like nasty in the day. It gives me like a light coverage wow. yeah. and like a shimmer. Like it makes you not shimmer, like a glow. Okay, makes you work. look like hydrated. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that. Just a, a lot one. of water. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It gives that, uh-huh. and then the body's crackling. <laughs> <laughs> the feet could use a dip because they're crackers. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's play a game. Okay. Okay. They just did this on Drag Race. It was um. <sighs> Two lies and a truth. Okay. No, two truths. Two truths truths and a lie. Sorry. Five lies and zero truths. (laughs) That's what we're calling it. No, it's called two truths and a lie. And so each person says three facts about themselves, two of which are true and one of them is not true. And then the other people have to guess which one is the lie. Okay. Where is the lie? Okay. So who wants to go first? Um, I'll go first. Okay. Okay. I need to think of Me mine. too. Do we this have a is... minute? Yes. Can and you we can't, sit like, quietly on camera? Yeah. Hum okay. and think. I'm not gonna hum anything. Okay. <laughs> and I'm also not thinking. <laughs> I'm just staring Two at the truths camera. and a lie. I have to think of things. Okay, okay. Shh. Okay. <gasps> you can. <gasps> I'm already thinking of two lies. I listen to the podcast. I know she can lie very well. Let me pause and hydrate. I know she can lie very well, darling. Daughter. My back. Daughter. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) Did I spit on your tits? No. The mic was getting excited. No, but could you? (laughs) (laughs) I'd rather you do it in the house. Um, Okay. Okay. Two truths and a lie. That's so funny. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to think of it. Me too. This episode is brought to you by, who I almost nodded off because this Helix mattress is so comfortable, Helix Sleep. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including the award-winning Lux Collection, the newly released Helix Elite Collection, a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made just for kids. I've had several many Helix mattresses for several many years now, and I love I them all. They're all my I've babies. read the men's room wall. We have the midnight dusk. We have the uh, we have the one for uh, heavy sleepers, and that's also oh, good. Oh, they're if, all good. 
if you have slumber parties if uh lots of, i love a helix party uh and we are the helix girls and we have been for such a long time that we know what works best for us and our bodies but if you don't know you could take a helix sleep quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes they've got models with memory foam layers to provide optimal pressure relief if you sleep on your side also models with a more responsive foam to cradle your body for essential support in stomach and back sleeping positions Ooh, plus enhanced cooling features to help you from overheating at night. And your personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door, free of charge. Helix knows there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. So that's why they offer a 100-night trial to try out your new Helix mattress and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash Drag. Drag. Drag and use code Helix Partner Twenty. This is their best offer yet, and it's not gonna last long. It's so good, I'm gonna say it again. That's HelixSleep.com/drag and use code Helix Partner Twenty. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Okay, I got it. Okay, you go first. When I was four. Oh <laughs> no! Oh, Jesus God. Christ! <laughs> what? <laughs> When I was four <laughs> and my cat died, I pet it for a while when it was dead. That's true, I feel. All right, never mind. <laughs> I've What, you pet the dead cat? I've fucked I like over I 500 men. That's true. My dad stopped beating me when I started getting boners. Started getting boners. This is all. Those While he good. was beating what? me. Very dark and very disturbing, Will. He got like, every all the corners single, of that. Every single fact was darker <laughs> than the last. <laughs> <laughs> More disturbing. Okay. I think the lie is the 500 men. I think the lie the- is the cat. No. I just want to be different than Alaska, so we both hit her where it hurts. One of us wins. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Um, Divide and call cat. I shouldn't have said slept with. I've blown more than 500 guys. That's a true one. And then um, the first one is also true. The cat? <laughs> yeah. And then he crawled up on the doorstep. It had gotten hit by a car, and then it crawled <gasps> home. And like we got oh. home. And I was like, oh, dummy, hey. Because that was his name. His um, name was dummy. But he was dying. Oh, he was dead already at that so point. He had, made, he had the energy to crawl up to the door, and then he died there, and then we pulled in. I oh guess. my God. Yeah. So it was um, the boners and the dad that was yeah, a lie. Yeah. You took it there. Yeah. My mom beat me. My dad didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. No, I'm kidding. My dad did too. Okay. The, I'll but go it's next. fine now. <laughs> so Jesus Christ. Wait, no, you're the special guest. I'll, I'll, you, can okay. be the, you can be the closer. Okay. You okay. have more time to think about it. Okay. 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 Um, as a child, I had a dog named Jasmine. Right. As a child, like, okay. I went to okay? no. <laughs> Vernondale Elementary School. Oh my God. Okay. I have never been arrested. What was the Wait, first one? They were again? all true. I can't. <laughs> God damn it. I was supposed wow, to say I have been brain. arrested. You call yourself a podcaster? Now I've blown it. Uh, Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Imagine I'm pissed. She's usually better. Um, uh, my... Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. It is hard, I am, though. I am one-third French-Canadian. My tires in my car are currently low. <laughs> on air. So personal. <laughs> like... <laughs> My sister's name is Brooke. I know the lie. I'm going to say French Canadian. It is because That's she's like lie. one eighth or something or one quarter. I'm one fourth French Canadian. <gasps> See, she's getting tricky with the numbers over so here. So you said half? I said one third. One so third. That was so that was a lie. Yeah. We won. Yes. Wow, Fuck I lose. Yes. Team yes. Gorgeous. Team okay. Gorge. Team Gorge. Okay, wait, we, we won. No. You do one now. Okay. Um, fuck, I'm trying to buy time. Don't cheat off my this iPad. It's so hard. <laughs> it is hard. Okay. Um, I had a good one. 
Just don't say all truths, because then they all you have to throw them all out the window. Again. Don't do it. It's the, not the way. <laughs> There's so many bubbles in that. I almost threw up. <laughs> really? It was so bubbly. It gave me a lot of bubbles. <laughs> Sparkling water. More than normal. I'm sorry. Um, I, okay, okay. Um, first one. Mm-hmm. I have been arrested. Second one. I farted so loud this morning, it scared me. Third one. You lent me a pair of Louboutins once that I still have. The first one is the lie. The third one is the lie. The second one was the lie. Oh, my God. Oh, you burp. You winner. don't fart. You're a burper. Yes. You yeah. are the undisputed yeah. winner of where is the lie? Uh, where is the lie? Where's the lie? Wow. You got us together. I knew the you came on this to. show. You came on this show and oh, gathered no, I d- us I do. together. You do? I do still have a That's a truth? Doors. Yes. They're at my house. I look at them every day. What I know pair? your gate code, bitch. They're um like big platforms. Big platforms. Oh. Very worn. <laughs> worn. I'll send, I'll send. She said they're worn, honey. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. Okay. Right <laughs> um, let's play another game. <laughs> this game is called Compliment, Compliment, Question. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alaska will show you how it's played. She's better at it. Okay. I'm just good at the compliment part. Willem, mm-hmm. uh, Hi. I uh, love your hair oh, by wigs you want. Wigs you want. Mm-hmm. I love that. It's the Sandy. Uh, I love your dragonfly brochette. <sighs> um, A dragonfly. And my question is, are there any loads inside you right now? <laughs> Or how many? <laughs> um, mind if I use my fingers? <laughs> <laughs> That's what your dates say, too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. You can't tell. No, because I wouldn't have been able to poop if there was a load in there, the load would come out with it. would it. come out, like, sometimes sort of riding come, on top of it. Sometimes it, like it comes out curled ship. around the turd. <laughs> I've seen it. Oh, it does like a swirl? Oh, yeah, it coagulates Magic up there. <gasps> so it just goes, it oh, molds, itself, molds itself to the turd, and they become one. One turd becomes one. One turd becomes one. I need some cum. Okay, okay, now you do Gigi. Okay. Gigi. Gigi LaVonji Granger. <laughs> <laughs> she was a judge on Drag Race. She was these, horrible. Was she? Yeah. Uh, these references. Yes. We only know Drag Race. Or at least I do. <laughs> I know no further references. Um. Okay. Drag Race seasons one through six. No, nothing further. Compliment, compliment, question. Okay. Well, the compliments are easy. Oh, my God. Totally. Pick one. Um. Hmm. Uh, this is where we oh. stare into the camera quietly. Gigi. Well, um, you have great style. Is this that's the style? truth. Yeah, it is. Um, Spam risk is calling you. Oh, God. Spam risk. <laughs> Shut up, Chanel. Pa- Pam <laughs> risk. <laughs> Pam you never saved a spam risk. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. Ooh, I got this one. Okay. This is you the, got one compliment off the ground. Okay. So, um, <laughs> compliment. Uh, you're you're very tan. Thank, thank you. Yeah, I wish I could be that tan. That's a compliment. It comes in a bottle, you can. Third. <laughs> very saint <Saint-Tropez. laughs> Very saint <Saint-Tropez. laughs> Very love you for you. Um, you're like the best at everything I know that you try to do. So what's it feel like to have be- been beaten by Tom Daly at diving? Oh. Mm, feels pretty good knowing it was in my previous gender. But I was pissed at the time. Okay. Because she was good. So I was good at diving, like really good. But then I went international mm-hmm. and it was a whole other ball game. Mm-hmm. So she kicked my ass, yeah. When you had balls game. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. Touche. Uh, <laughs> She's a fucking good diver. She's Olympic medal, like gold medalist. Gold. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. It felt bad. I was very sad. I probably honestly cried. I was like 13. Huh. That's a good question. Thank you. Love Tom. Yeah, he's great. Hi, Tom. She's in the other room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Another surprise guest. <gasps> So now do, do you want to go? Yeah, I'll do you. You can oh, do both yeah. of us or one of us or whomever you like. Okay. Alaska. Yes. I love your hair. Thank you. Like this obsessed. This is two truths and a lie anymore. <laughs> 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 that was a good one. Um, I love your nails. Thank you. Like obsessed. Santi Ali. Um, and the question is, how many breastplates do you own? Is that a vulnerable question? I'm That's just actually so curious. vulnerable. I, <laughs> I just I wanted to hop on here really quick to address this, you guys. Um, I'm gonna wait till more people get in the room. Uh, <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> we have to talk about this. Um, let me think. There's there's this one. Then there's like a smaller one of this. This is like a double D, right? Th more? I think it is. I think it's a double D because I got a D mm -hmm. and it was too small. Like so it natural. It had those like, well, no, it had those like, they were too kind of small and centered and it didn't look right on my proportions. Oh, yes. So I got the bigger one. And then I have one that just goes around the neck. And then I believe I have another one that's like leaking. And I was like, I could use this for something, but it's like, I'm not going to use it. And it's the wrong Water color. Sports. Yeah. <laughs> The oh, and I have the body, which technically counts as a breastplate because it has breasts. Is that like all silicone, like like a Jimbo? Here, right. How Jimbo has that? Here. Okay, sort of. Now. Yeah, it's a halter that goes goes down like this, and go yeah, it goes to here. Cute, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Jimbo has one down to her ankles. She I saw her around. performing, and there was like sweat coming out of the ankles. Ooh. I was like, "Wow, you must be got, hot in there." I got sweat coming out of places right now. Mm -hmm. No <laughs> breathability. That's why they there. call it the hot pussy power hour. Yes, <laughs> the good hot pussy power hour. So before we wrap up, what's next for Gigi Gorgeous? <sighs> well, I'm actually doing something that I I don't even know if I could talk about this. She's but... like lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I think White Claw's in my future. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm doing something with a friend who was on Drag Race, and we're really excited about it, but I don't know if I could talk about it, but it's something I've done before. But it takes, mm. like, about a year, about a year and a half, and mm. we are so fucking excited, and we definitely want you guys involved. Uh, okay. Mm. It's like a tangible thing that you can, like, hold. Oh, you're doing it? Are you producing something? Is it a book? Ooh, Is it you a know book? what? I don't know if I could say Click yet. Click for more below. Yeah, we'll just leave it. We'll leave it vague. Yeah. But it's going to be so cunt and so amazing. I'm so excited about it. And cool. So, so yeah. Thought. Me. So any words of advice, any parting words of advice for our Mom Plus subscribers out there? If they um, want to succeed in business. I feel like just go for it. Like in life, if you want to like transition, I'm always like a pusher. Like Willem, you know this. If we like see someone out and they're like, I feel like I want to transition. I'm just not sure yet. I'm like, girl, do it. Like yeah. I'm just such a pusher I was in this every close way. To boobs. <laughs> you were. Yeah. I was upset when she didn't do it. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's still time. Yeah. I think By the nothing, end of this episode. Nothing's off limits. Just go go for it. Yeah. 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 I believe in you. Well, we are really grateful that you stopped by to the Thanks hot pussy power guys. hour uh, literally like the three minute walk yes yeah yes you could i could throw a rock and hit you guys here tomorrow literally. so we're not paying for gas money or reimbursing for travel <laughs> uh, uh, just, Tesla. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> just kidding we didn't Tesla. <laughs> she has a tea she thought what's your tesla's name uh telsa the tesla creative <laughs> telsa telsa thunderfuck yeah. I love it. Tilsa. Well, we would like to thank you for coming. <laughs> yes. And Thanks for having me so for real. Grateful. This yeah. is everything. And as I feel hotter is, and pussier. As is tradition, <laughs> we do a shot with our guests. Um, Big Dipper, could you bring them out? I know. I was like, well, let's drink. drink. We don't have any drink. We already got a shot. <laughs> huh? In your arm. Oh, I do. Oh, no. She goes, my tits? Ooh. It's coming off. 
No, I thought we could do like a like even just a fake one. It's like hot and pussy. <sighs> it's fine. We're out of time. <laughs> we'll start the tradition next time. It's a ghost shot. We don't have anything to drink. It's like our, I, I love it. Our, a healthy work environment. There is. What kind? Oh, I love. Uh, well, that's Kim what Crawford. I want. That's what I want. Oh my god, how fun! Right, great. V A M P fail. I'm like sweating my curls out. Yeah, the lights too. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, I just want a full cup, like a coffee cup, a pint, a pint glass. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in a Home Depot bucket and get two straws. Mm -hmm. One Are of those you... ones from Vegas, like the big straws, <laughs> the, or a straw hat, or like with the with <laughs> the hat that back? has the two. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you. I, those are smaller. I got one. Thanks, okay. babe. Yeah. I haven't had Kim Crawford in okay. eons. Did you know that Kim Crawford is a man? I did. I just learned this information and it freaked me out. <laughs> She's quite manly. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for the Hot Pussy Thank Power you. Hour. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Hot Pussies. Good Hot Cheers. Pussy Power Hour. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Nice setting spray. Ooh. Ugh. That shit's good. Tart it with the refreshing. Really it tastes like pear, no? It does. Uh, mm. Well, as always, I'm Alaska. And I'm Willem. And uh, from all of us here at Moguls of Media, goodbye. See you later. Bye. Oh, we've got an important call next. Oh, oh my gosh. Barbara oh. Walters. Chanel Perillo. <laughs> Scam likely. <laughs> Scam risk. <laughs> Spam risk. That's funny. Mm.